What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. I am back with another video showing you guys how to install jailbreak apps on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, iOS 10 without jailbreaking your device. And this, in fact, is going to be a special edition video. As you guys can see in front of me, I have my iPhone 7 here, jet black model with the shiny background. As you guys can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I have a clear case on it to prevent it from scratching, but I'm super excited about this special edition video. I'm going to be showing you guys two new installers, and I'm especially excited that you can actually install jailbreak applications on the iPhone 7 without Cydia. So let's jump right into it. So just to clarify, this will work on the iPhone 7. It will also work on the most modern iPads and iPod Touches. So that includes the iPad Pros and the iPod Touch 6 generation. This, of course, also works on the iPhone 7 Plus and every iPhone that there is up to the modern generation. So absolutely awesome. Let's jump into it. So you guys probably will actually recognize some of the applications I have here on my home screen. I have done some videos on them for you guys, but the two new installers I'm going to be focusing on in this video are going to be Tweakbox and Extensify. I found these actually playing around with my iPhone 7 this weekend. A couple of new installers. I always like to show you guys all the options that you have out there, but I also do have Zestia, iOS, Emus, and Mojo installed. But if you do want to see more about Mojo, iOS, Emus, or Zestia, go ahead and either check out one of the videos I have down there in the description or leave a comment actually asking me to make a more in-depth video. Always happy to help with those guys. But in this video, let's jump right into Tweakbox and Extensify. So all of these installers actually have a similar install process. They all are downloaded from Safari on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So I'm gonna start with Tweakbox. All you have to do to install Tweakbox is go ahead and open up Safari. You are gonna have to load a website. All of the websites you will need are down there in the description for these two applications. Tweakbox is actually at a website called tweakboxapp.com, T-W-E-A-K-B-O-X-A-P-P.com. Link will be down in the description. Once you're on the website, all you have to do is go ahead and click install now in the middle of the website. It will bring you to the settings application and you are going to have to enter your passcode and click install a couple times. Go ahead and click install in the upper right. Go ahead and enter your passcode. Go ahead and click install one more time. Install one more time. It will bring you back to this screen. Go ahead and click done and you will be brought right back to the website you started on. So at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and click the home button. You will be brought back to the home screen. As you guys can see, it installed right there on my device. I'm going to drag it over here to where the installations are themselves. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you guys here. As you guys can see, it loads very, very fast and looks similar to Cydia. So the home tab and the info tab are a little bit boring, but they do tell you about the application. As you guys can see, if you scroll down, it'll tell you that you can donate to the application, view some changes in it, get in touch with the developers. On the info tab, you'll get some more information about the developers themselves, and you'll also be able to contact support. Now, the section all of you are interested in is the app section right here in the middle. There are five sections categorized a little bit differently. At the bottom, you have hacked games and tweaked apps. Then you have tweak box specific apps. You also have app store apps and some flash apps. So first off, let's start with Flash apps. These are applications that are either in the App Store right now or have been in the App Store at one point and they have found a way to download them on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. All you have to do is go ahead and click inside. You can see all that it has to offer. It's got a bunch of applications to watch free movies and listen to free music. A lot of really cool stuff in there. I don't condone doing any of these things, but these were App Store apps at one point. On the right here, you will see a green check mark. That means you can install it on iOS 10. It will work. If it has any other logo than that, you might actually have a chance of it failing to install, but it looks like all of these are good to go. So you can go ahead and download any of those from the Flash Apps section. Next, we have a section called App Store Apps. This is similar to Flash Apps. These are applications that were removed from the App Store at one point. The green check mark means you are good to go. The airplane or the question mark means you need a loophole. You can go ahead and click any of these learn how buttons up here to learn how to use that loophole. The red X means it doesn't actually work. Now we also have Hacked Games, which is the same deal. You can go ahead and go in there. You can see which applications are working. Unfortunately, it looks like there's only a couple that are working right now, including Pokemon Go. And tweaked apps, actually, unfortunately, the developer is having trouble keeping updated. So the, this application actually doesn't even have tweaked apps, unfortunately. But the best section to me is the Tweakbox apps section. So if you go in here, you'll see that there's a lot of different applications you can install. And for the most part, all of them basically work, or you can use one of the loopholes described up here. All you have to do is go ahead and click on an application. I'll do GBA iOS here. Go ahead and click install. Click install one more time, and it will download directly to your device. I'm going to go to my home screen here. You can see that it's actually installing. 
fine. As you guys can see here, it actually installed. I'll go ahead and open it up here. Absolutely awesome. Works. No problems. No issues whatsoever. And I can go ahead and start to use it. Now you may actually have to trust the developer to do that. All you have to do is go into the settings application, go into general, then profiles and device management. You'll see all of the profiles down here. Go ahead and click one of them and then go ahead and click trust. Now Extensify works in a very similar way, but Extensify focuses on tweaked apps rather than jailbreak apps. So this actually focuses on app store apps and how you can expand them to have better functionality, more functionality than usual. Apps like Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, anything like that. Now the installation process is actually an application process. You will need a promo code. All you have to do is go into Safari, go to extensify.io, E-X-T-E-N-S-I-F-Y.io. As you guys can see, this is the screen you will be greeted with. And there is a section to apply for a code. As you guys can see, it's a high-end server. It's got a lot of tweaks and this is very well maintained. So to apply, all you have to do is go ahead and click get app and then you'll be able to apply for a promo code, I believe. Down here at the bottom, you can see the actual button to apply for the code. I just got my code today and I got to tell you guys, this is really, really awesome. It might take you a little while to get, but you can install tweaked applications right here on your device. So I'll go ahead and open it up here for you guys to show you guys how it works. It looks just like Cydia would. It's actually very, very clean and you can see just what it has to offer. It has a catalog of apps you can mod. You can mod Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, Telegram, Twitch, anything like that. All you have to do is go ahead and click the application and you can see just what you can download. You can download Phantom, gives you a description of the application, gives you some screenshots showing you exactly what you can do. And all you have to do is go ahead and click get just like you would in Cydia. And then you're gonna go ahead and build the application. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do this right now. Basically what this would do is it would install a tweaked version of Snapchat called Snapchat Plus Plus right here on my device. You can actually do this without actually using a computer, without jailbreaking your device. Absolutely awesome. So I highly recommend trying to apply for Extensify. It's a great app and it allows you to install tweaked applications onto your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch without jailbreaking. Now I do have a couple of guides for you guys if you want to install applications that are hacked like Snapchat right on your device without jailbreaking and you don't want to wait for Extensify. So I'll put annotations in the video or the links down there in the description. So go ahead and check those out. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. This is a special edition video on how to install jailbreak apps on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch iOS 10 version running on the iPhone 7, which is especially awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up by clicking the subscribe button right there. Really helps me out, guys. Really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop a like if you did like the video. Just go ahead and smash the like button. Really appreciate that as well. Also got links down there in the description for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps 100% free. So check that out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more iPhone 7 and jailbreak app videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.